So after listening to the Todd Parr story, we're gonna create our own self portraits. In front of you, you will see a sheet of paper. There is a bumpy side and a smooth side. The smooth side is the back. So please write your name on the smooth side. Flip it over so the bumpy side is facing you. First, before we do the actual portrait part and draw ourselves, we are going to want to create our background. We're using our colored paint puppies for the background. We're also using dots. So using our puppies, take the lid off, set it aside, and you are just tapping. You're going to design your portrait however you'd like. So make the background something you'd like using any colors you would like. I'm going to do a rainbow pattern just because that's what I like. Notice how I'm tapping and I'm not squeezing. When your page is all filled up, double check to make sure there's not a lot of white spots. I have a few spots I need to fill in, in the green and the orange, so fix those spots. You notice how I did not drag my puppies, I only tapped them. Once our paper's dry, we are going to create the Todd Parr inspired portrait using the black ink puppy. With these ones, the ink inside of it is permanent, which means you should not get it on your hands. It won't come off. So we never, ever, ever squeeze our puppies. Otherwise, we get puppy tears. To take his head off, you just twist. You can see the ink inside. Make sure you do not get this on your skin or squeeze that puppy. To start, we are going to do a circle in the middle of our page. The circle needs to be pretty big because this is going to be at the face of our self portrait. So not squeezing. I am doing one big circle. Next, we want to add in the details of our eyes, which are usually just dots. I'm going to do a knot for a nose. Your mouth, you can pick how you do it. You can do a mask or no mask. For mine, I'm going to do my mask masks are usually the shape of a rectangle with four lines coming off the corner and I'm going to fill it in black covering up my little nose over here if you want to just do a regular mouth you can next we're going to do our neck which is two small parallel lines going down then our shoulders which are curved lines that go out towards the edge of the paper and stop at the bottom of the paper. If you have to go over a line, you can just make sure you do not squeeze that puppy. Next, we get to add individual details. So you're gonna make your portrait look like you. First, I'm gonna add my hair. And my hair goes about to my shoulders, so I'm gonna make it pretty long. And my hair usually covers up my ears, so I'm just gonna leave those out. Next, I'm gonna add the details of my shirt. Usually I wear an art smock, so I'm gonna add that in. And my art smock usually has pins on it, so I'm doing three small dots. When you are done, you can add few small details to the background. So in the background, I'm just going to do dots because they match my smock. If you wanna do another shape, you can. Just make sure you're not squeezing that puppy. Perfect, and my portrait is done. Since it's still a little wet, I'm gonna put my cap on my puppy, pick my artwork up like a pizza, and bring it over to the drying rack. For the last part of our portraits, we are gonna add a border so everyone will get a black sheet of paper. What we wanna do is we wanna put our portrait right in the middle of our border, so line it up. Then we're gonna take a stapler and staple all four corners. One two, three, and four. Since we added the border, your name is no longer visible on the back. So using an oil pastel or crayon, make sure you write your name on the back of the black sheet. 
Next, we're gonna add details to our borders. We have two options for this. We have oil pastels or we have metallic Sharpies. You can use both if you'd like, but if you are using both, you need to use the Sharpies first. So with our Sharpies, we're just gonna create different designs all along our border, not on our portrait, on our border. Now that my metallic Sharpies are done, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil pastels. These are like a very soft crayon, so with these you wanna be very careful that you don't smudge the um, pastel all over the place. And here is my finished portrait. Make sure your name's on the back and you filled in the entire border with as much detail as possible.